Hey everyone, we are back to the Frankie D Show, and you just listened to You Got Me Wide Open by Busty Collins. Bootsy. Bootsy, my bad. I'm sorry. Man. Never heard the song. I played it for my good friend Joe over here. You ever heard of Bootsy Collins? Nope. Oh, man. Legendary <laughs> guitarist. Legendary. Uh, yeah, he's got, oh, yeah, just like, in, just musician in general. And that song was smooth. Good it was. choice. Man. It was smooth. Good choice. All right, now, Joe, we're at this the time of the Frankie D Show. Where I play a game with my guest. Ready for a game? I mean, I hope it's just not like Saw. It's like what? Not like Saw. Yeah. It's, Nursing it's, Saw. I know, but it's not. Those are the games you don't <laughs> want to play. They involve limbs being severed off, and it's October, so, you know, if I was Joe, I wouldn't know either. Nah, nah, Joe, we're going to have some fun, all right? All right. That's exactly That's what they said in Saw. All right. <laughs> Shut up now. <laughs> so, uh, one game that's very liked on the show is Would You Rather. So we're going to play that. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So in my Would You Rather, I don't just ask like two questions. I make a story out of it. All right. So we're going to start off now. All right. So right now you're on the Frankie D show having a good time. And after the Frankie D show, you leave to go do some stand-up comedy there in Suffer, New York. All right. So you kill it at this comedy club. Everyone's laughing. You do the best job there. Now, there's some people there in the entertainment business. They see you, and they're like, that is the next Artie Lang. They, you know, that's the next Jerry Seinfeld. Whoever you want to be. They, they see you as the next big stand-up comedian. So they go up, and they offer you a job. You know, some instead of just working uh, these clubs, like they offer you a job all over the place to do stand-up, whether it's on podcasts, radio, television, and in clubs, you know, so they, they they will make sure you are paid consistently good money. Now, in one of your uh, bits you did on stage there at the comedy club, you were talking about accounting because you did say that's your major. So you were using real life facts in these jokes. Now, there's one a guy, he owns an accounting firm. He loves comedy, so he's at the comedy club also. He sees that you know your stuff, even though he sees your joke, and he can tell by the terms you're using, you actually know your stuff. He also offers you a job. What job would you rather take, the stand-up comedian job or the accounting job? I mean, definitely would take the accounting job. I uh, wouldn't really see suffering as a place to launch a career in stand-up comedy. All right, I mean... This it is technically New York. Yeah, it is. The, the, Live from New York. <laughs> Live from New York, suffering. It's Friday night. It's Joe. Oh, my God. All right. Wait, so I didn't even get that. You said you didn't want to start your career in suffer? No, I mean, uh, I just feel like that's like not going to like really put me up to the Jerry Seinfeld level. All right, so. Starting it's not Seinfeld. New York City. Yeah. All right, so you're, you're taking the job as the accountant. Big time. All right. So when... A bunch of the famous people found out. Now, you actually just blew it. This was a big guy that you just blew off. He was going to make you huge. You know, all the big celebrities know him. Jerry Seinfeld knows him. Artie Lang knows him. Howard Stern knows him. Everyone knows this guy. So you just blew it. So all these famous people want to talk to you now. So you have the chance to meet Howard Stern at Scores, his number one strip club. Or you have the chance to meet Carrot Top on a fishing trip. Now, both of these could lead to opportunities, but you don't know what opportunities they'll, they'll lead to. What, which one uh, would you rather meet? They want to meet you because they can't believe you just blew off this guy, so they want to know what's going through your head. Yeah, I mean, uh, I really like fishing, so that's like an edge there for Carrot Top. But mm -hmm. at the same time, who likes prop comedy? Yeah, Ooh. prop comedy is dead. Yeah. All it's right. been dead. So yeah. does that mean... Does that mean yeah, that's a lock-in for Howard Stern. I feel like I, I'm more of a somebody than Carrot Top. Oh, man. I did like when Carrot Top used to bring his saw and had glasses, and he'd call it a seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, so you're meeting Howard Stern, the king of all media. All right, so well, now that just makes your popularity now go even higher. Now, your, your popularity is getting huge from taking an accounting job. You just blew everyone's mind. So now that all these people see you at the king of all media, Howard Stern. Uh, these two girls in particular want to meet you. Emily, I can't even pronounce her last name, Radajkowski. Yeah. yeah. Radajkowski. I have no idea how to pronounce it. I, that sounded kind of good. Radajkowski. This will be the next Jay Chenoweth. 
Rada Jakuski, I don't even know. Rada to it. it. <laughs> okay, Rada Jakowski, whatever. And uh, Haley Baldwin, uh, Justin Bieber's uh, fiance or wife, whatever they are now. And they both want to meet you at the Museum of Hemorrhoids. There's an actual Museum of Hemorrhoids. There is now. There is a sex museum right. in New York. Well, this is the museum. And they probably teach is about this a wing of uh, the Museum of Sex, or is this a uh, no, no? This is just one structure. big museum of hemorrhoids. Oh, okay. So Doesn't sound like a place I'd like to go. Well, no. you, <laughs> they either. both they both want to meet you at this museum. Can it be like I, a giant H? The museum structure. Sure. Awesome. I don't know how it is. So it's which one? Which <laughs> one? Would you, they both want to meet you at this museum. Yeah. Which one do you want to meet? I mean, they're just meeting me at a museum. Of hemorrhoids, the hemorrhoid museum. I mean, I, again, I, I gotta like balance this out, see like what it's about. Like Emily Radzewski is uh, a, a model, but she is also in uh, iCarly. She played mm -hmm. Gibby's Gibby's girlfriend. That's true. That that's true. So I mean, like that's pretty cool. I could talk to her about the experience with that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, at the same time, Haley Baldwin's uh, engaged or married to Justin Bieber. I don't know. Well, that, that, but that, that's pretty that, interesting. That provides like some. Uh, Influence right there. Yeah, that and is. she's also related to the Baldwins, Stephen Baldwin, uh, I would love Billy to meet the Baldwin, Baldwin, Alec Baldwin. That's true. We just want to meet the Baldwins. They're, they're a big. They're a big family with a lot of pull. So I'm going to go with the Baldwin family. All nice. right, so you're going with the Baldwin family. Now, Joe, we got a player over here. Joe doesn't want to just meet the one girl. So, he, so he picks Haley, but then he's like, you know what? I'm just going to go to the museum now with uh, Haley, and then I'll meet up with Emily later. But, unfortunately, Ellen DeGeneres found out about this. Now, she says... <laughs> Everybody's in your history, dude. Jerry yeah, Seinfeld, I mean, uh, Ellen DeGeneres. Jimmy, like, it's because the <laughs> initial thing was, uh, how far off? Maybe let's say this is a couple months back since Ellen's finally oh, out okay. about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's been, like, She's working on late. taking you down. Now, now yeah. so yeah, Ellen DeGeneres finds out that you want to, like, meet up with both these girls like she she doesn't like that she's like you should only be meeting up with one you promised you you'd only meet up with one and now you're not so she finds some shark infested water and she says you can only pick one of these girls you got to push one of them into the shark infested water or i'm going to shoot you what girl do you push into the shark infested water Haley baldwin or emily I mean, you said one girl, so my immediate uh, thought would be to push my attacker, Ellen DeGeneres, into the water. She does not count. Okay. She... Can he also get shot? Can he no, say he shoot? No, he cannot. He, Wait, he, why not? He, he's too scared. He does not want to die. Do you not want to die, Joe? But then, like, what if, like... I mean, I don't want to die, but, like... Would you at take the same the time, like, Ellen DeGeneres is, like, pretty, like, goofy. Like, she, like, might just be like, you, you ah, like, it's a prank. Like, this well, is, like, I feel like prank. this is, like, some Joker-type deal yeah. stuff, where she's just deranged and nobody knew it. That's tough. Yeah, like, I could you, not you, see her waving around a gun, just going, oh, I'm Ellen DeGeneres, I'm going <laughs> to shoot you. I'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> like, All this right. is psycho. Yeah, I mean, uh... Let's who's, see, who who's is going the, who's in the water? Yeah, I'd just say, uh, uh Emily again. All right, em em Emily is going in the water. Well, that was a good choice you actually made, honestly. Because Emily didn't really have any interest in you. Now, Haley, she's ready to dump Beaver for you. She likes you. Wow. All, All right? right? So... Now you're her hero now too, because she found out that you could have killed her. You could you could have pushed her in that shark infested water. You're her hero. She loves you. She wants to be with you. So it's bye bye to Beaver. Now you can stop her from dumping Beaver if you want. Now if you do that, you're gonna take one. You accept one point uh, two three million dollars from Caitlyn Jenner. But if, if, it's, I, if she dumps Beaver, I get Caitlyn Jenner's money. But there's a catch to that. You got to make out with Caitlyn Jenner after. For one point two three million dollars. Yeah. <sighs> Easy money. I would blow Caitlyn, Caitlyn Jenner, man. Oh my god. One point two three million dollars. Are you kidding me? What, uh, you could what would you do in that situation, Frank? What would I do? For one point three two three million dollars. You just put that in like an index fund or something. I like, take out like a bandit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta think. Do you know how many things no, no, no. I wouldn't do for one point three three million dollars? Like that's the list we should get because that'd be like yeah. five things. <laughs> It'd be like jumping into a volcano, like I punching like, a baby, punching <laughs> a baby. Like that's it. All right. So now you just made out with Caitlyn Jenner. You have one point two three million dollars, and you're gonna go enjoy the rest of your life. That is the end of our game. 
Wow. You made off pretty well, man. Yeah, I know. I made out with Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> Jeez, <that's laughs> so that's pretty right. sweet. This is like Monopoly when you just got like everything and you just want more and you just get it all at the end. Like, geez, congratulations, dude. Oh, Honestly. man. And Caitlyn man. Jenner, Haley Baldwin, money. Like, that's a great life. That's oh, a great man. Life. Sorry, Emily Ratajewski. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Emily <laughs> went bye bye. We did take one person out of this world. We did. R.I.P. to Emily. Um, well, it's, all, it's really all Ellen DeGeneres' fault. She's what, wait, hold up. What are the repercussions for Ellen after this? Oh, hey, bro, she she's going to jail. She never gets in trouble. What's she's Jeez. Ellen? You know what? She hasn't really ever been in trouble. You're right. She's never had a scandal. Yeah, it's never no, been like she, this. The Ellen lying. scandal. Like, she didn't really do a voice for Dorothy. Oh, boy. Dorothy. Yeah, who knows, man. Wrong name. Dory, Dory. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, really about about the name I'm that. terrible. I'm, I'm really leaving. I'm leaving. That's it. You guys are all done. All right. Well, Joe, I hope you enjoyed the game. I did. And we're going to get back to some music now, right? Sounds good. And uh, for the people watching this out there, yep. just want to let you guys know that Frank requested that we all come in in white shirts and jeans today. Well, I didn't really request that, but I really, did. I really like that everyone's in white shirts and jeans today. That's the way we It was a request. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, we're going to play some Foreigner next, all right? Foreigner. And then some Donna Summers. Sure. All right, so next up here on the Frankie D Show, I'm going to be playing Jukebox Hero by Foreigner here on 90.3 WRPR.